This video is sponsored by HiPDF, the all-in-one online PDF solution. With HiPDF, you can compress your PDF files, make them smaller on size, or convert them between different formats, like Word to PDF or PDF to Word. And of course, a ton of other formats to which you can convert your PDF files. You can also get the desktop version of HiPDF, which has many more features, like the ability to edit your PDF files. Just go ahead and easily edit any PDF file with the high pdf desktop version if you want to get the software or you want to give it a try make sure you check out the link right down below in the description of this video hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today i will show you guys 10 amazing iPad apps that you must have on your iPad in 2020. These are free apps that are really, really cool and of course, very useful at the same time. So I suggest you download them on your iPad right now. Starting things off with video to pick. Now, how many times you took a video and you liked a scene out of that video and wanted to extract a photo out of it? Of course, you can take a screenshot, but the quality won't be that good. But you can use this app. Video to pick allows us to do just that just choose any of the videos that you have on your iPad and from here you will be able to extract any frame on the video and save that as a picture and the quality will be excellent so all you have to do is just of course drag this little slider right here and just go ahead and pick the frame that you want to extract you can also use these buttons to go to the next and to the previous frame like that now once you have picked the frame that you want to use and save of course all you got to do is just tap that little button and just like that you will have that picture extracted and saved under the camera roll of your iphone the next app for the video is called Edge Clip. Now, Edge Clip allows to save easily anything that you have copied on the clipboard of your iPhone. So all you gotta do is just open the app and you can see right now it will actually go ahead and save anything that you have copied on the clipboard. So you can see right here, it did just save that item right there. So at the bottom here, you can see you have like different filters where you can show only strings, URLs or even images. So URLs, images and strings that are copied on the clipboard will be saved automatically here once you open the app. Or you can go ahead and use right here the widget of the app which is also really really cool and allows you to do just that. Now once you need one of the things that you have saved all you gotta do is just go to the widget without even having to open the app. Just switch between URLs or strings. These are the two different kind of items that will be shown on the widget and just go ahead and tap that button and you will be able to copy back whatever you had saved there to the clipboard of your iPad. Plus key is a must have app for any iPad user. Now one of the weirdest things about iPads is that they don't have a calculator app. I don't know why but Apple is just not adding a calculator app into iPad OS. Even on iPad OS 14 there is no calculator app. But with Key Plus, you have a really, really, really smart solution. Now, what it does is that it will place a calculator on your iPad, but won't just like add an app that you can use as a calculator. It will do it through the keyboard. So you just go here, go to Plus Key, and there you have the calculator. Anytime you need a calculator on your iPad, you will have it right there. You don't need to open an app to calculate something. You will have everything right here on the keyboard of your iPad as easy as that. Now, the first thing you need to do once you have installed the app is, of course, go to settings, go to general, and then go to keyboard, go to keyboards right there and make sure you have added plus key. And then you will be able to do calculations directly from the keyboard of your iPad. Convert to is the next app for the video. It allows you to convert pretty much anything on your iPad. So whether you need to convert an image, audio file, video file, maybe ebook, or even a document, you can do that with this app. It is very simple to use. All you have to do here is just go ahead and choose what you want to convert. In this case, I want to convert an image to another format. I just go ahead and choose here image converter and I have all these different formats to which I can convert. All I have to do now is just tap right there and go ahead and add the image from any of these sources. Now, once I have added the image, you can see the name of the image right here at the bottom. Now I can go ahead and choose the output format 
right there and tap on start conversion and just like that it will upload the file convert it download it and you're good to go you will have the file basically converted to the format that you wanted it very very easy to use and of course very convenient you don't need to have a ton of different apps for a ton of different things you have all in one here with convert to the next app for the video is called OCR Scanner. So you have a text that you need to edit or something, but that's on like a picture that of course you cannot edit that text. But with OCR Reader, you will be able to do that. All you gotta do is just tap right there and you can choose to use the camera or even the gallery of your iPad and load a picture from there. So let's just go ahead and load one. So here, once I have loaded a picture that contains some text on it, it will read basically the text and will show me the text right here. Now, of course, I will have a ton of different options right here to edit that text. I can go ahead and of course, edit here anything I want. I can delete something. I can select and copy all this text. Of course, I can choose there to go ahead and save this as a text file, HTML, or even a PDF file. So all the text that has been extracted from the picture can be saved if I want to as a PDF file, of course, on the files app. That's very convenient. And of course, very, very useful to have on your iPad. Next up is Math from Microsoft. Now this is a very useful app. It allows us to solve different math problems and it's very advanced as it will show you all the different steps that have been used during solving that problem. So here is the app. You can of course scan like any math problem. You can go ahead and draw anything you want or you can just go ahead and type any like different problems that you have. Now here, if I go ahead and just draw something here, you can see right now it will recognize basically what I have written right there and it will show me the result, which is really, really cool. Now, if I tap right there, you can see it will show me like everything here, solution steps right there. Of course, this is a simple one, so it won't have that many steps. So everything will be right here and it will also like suggest you different like videos to which you can go ahead and refer to to solve these problems. PDF to JPEG is a very useful app that allows us to extract pages from a PDF file and save them as pictures on the camera roll of your iPad. Now, anytime you need to do that, all you gotta do is just open this free app and you will have here different sources from where you can load your PDF files. So let me just load one here. And once I have done that, it will show me all the three pages of that PDF file. And I can go ahead and select as many as I want. And then of course, all I have to do is just tap convert. And that page of a PDF file will be converted into a picture. As you can see right now, it has been converted here. All I gotta do is just tap on download and that will save it under the files app. Once that has been saved on the files app, you will find it right here on your iPad. Just go ahead and find PDF to JPEG and you will find it as a zip file. Tap right there, of course, to extract it. And then you will be able to take a look at it. And of course, also go ahead and save it under the camera roll of your device. Pico is the next app for the video. It allows us to mark up your screenshots. It's very, very useful. And of course, it has a ton of different tools that are very useful and will make it very easy for you to mark up anything on a screenshot. So right here at the bottom, you will have all the different tools. Most of them are free. Some of them will be paid. So you will have to do like in-app purchases in order to have access to all of those. So right here, we'll have all the different tools. You, you tap on one of them and it will expand. So here we have like a square that we can use right here. Of course, you can go ahead and rotate this. You can place it anywhere you want. You can change its size right here. You will have the same here for all the different tools. So you will have the pencil here. You will have the straight line you will have an arrow so just want to put an arrow right here you can do that and then you will have this option right here that allows to basically hide anything you want on a screenshot so just do that like that and you will be able to do that or you can choose this other option and then all you have to do is just use your finger to basically hide anything on any part of that screenshot which is really really cool of course you can also go ahead and add text that's always very useful once you're done with all that you can go ahead and crop there if you want and of course go ahead and share right there and save it under the camera roll of your device 
search cam is the next app for the video have you ever used command f on your computer to search for any word on like a document or maybe even a website well with search cam you can do that in real life just point the camera of your ipad to any document and search for any word you want right here and it will be able to find the word on that document you can also do that with documents that you might have scanned or you have a picture of it under the camera roll simply by loading the picture from here so here I have a picture that I have loaded and I can just go ahead and basically just type a word here and it should find that word right here on this picture. So let's just go with search. So if I just type search right there and click find, you can see right there that red arrow, which indicates that it has found that word as easy as that you can find any word on any document that you might have a picture of it or just take a picture using the camera of your iPad. The next app for the video is called a widget. This app will bring some really cool widgets to your iPad. First of them is the custom one, which allows us to add like different links, different bookmarks that you need and use frequently. And you will have them right here on the home screen with the widgets. Of course, you will have a launcher to launch any of your f frequently used or favorite apps. And then you will have your network information. You will see your upload and download speed right there. Now, once you go to the app, right here under the network you will see all the information you can enable to show wi-fi name or not you will have the launcher here where you can go ahead and edit it you can remove any app you want and add any app you want to launch from there and by going to custom you can add any link from here and then of course you will find that on the widget so that is it for this video guys these are 10 really awesome ipad apps that you must have on your ipad in 2020 and of course these apps are free as well so go ahead leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it if you want to download any of these apps make sure to check out the description of the video and i will see you guys on the next one